there is a huge potential um, to use kind of additional stimulation to actually construct a virtual reality rather than just like a visual experience. Uh, and when we kind of like talk about creating um, these kind of sustained or these kind of like moments of connection to environment, for us, it's actually about building a, a, a lived experience, a, 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 a moment of being kind of like, of like a directly felt connection to that experience. And when we have like lived experience and when we take the headset off in a shared environment where we can talk about that, we have left an impression on people that is kind of felt rather than just something that kind of slips away like the sand. Being able to use a technology that captures country and narrative all in one, I guess the aim is to see whether it can be used as an empathy tool. We were trying to work towards was around a connection to country and initially went in there with this vision that we could um, hopefully connect policy and decision makers, um, you know, in Canberra or in state governments with um, the issues um, in remote Australia. We wanted to really see whether VR had uh, an impact on children's wellbeing who were undergoing um, active cancer treatment. So these are children who will be visiting the hospital very regularly, maybe staying for days, weeks or months in hospital and we know the psychological impacts of that, how children can feel um, quite low in their mood, they can become quite irritable, um, they lose a lot of their social supports and contacts. So we wanted to have a look at um, whether VR could give them an experience that could take them outside their um, hospital room and give them um, perhaps a real sense of being back in the community. What blew my mind on the panel was if you look at the individuals there who don't come from tech and they're propensity to try the new things because they've got a compelling reason to do it. So often you find in other environments where you're working with people, they're trying to use the tech for the tech's sake. Um, but I think some of the stuff I've seen with Facebook is they're trying to create that social connection and maybe uh, there's a deeper shared experience that you can create through these tools. The power of how connection can happen on our platform and when ideas are structured in the right way, the effect they can have on communities and just humans in general uh, is an incredible thing and making sure that that conversation is always at the foreground as we're going into creative strategy or we're going into augmented reality or virtual reality is just to take a pause and understand how to wrap the human layer and warmth around the tech before going too far down the journey.